Hi, welcome to another video. So, if you remember, then in one of my previous videos, I had talked about how there's a build mode in Google AI Studio that you can use to build some really good stuff in proper React with multiple files and features, and that too, for free. I am almost a regular user of this feature, and I've been seeing a ton of improvements in it recently. I think that this is actually way better than Gemini Canvas or Firebase Studio. So, if you don't know about build mode, then I'd highly recommend you to check out my previous videos on that, which will help you understand exactly what it is about. But, for a short recap, in Google's AI Studio, which is free to use, you can access models like Gemini, 2.5 Pro, Flash, Nano Banana, and much more. It's really great, but it also has a feature called Build. This is pretty simple on the surface. It's designed to allow you to create React-based apps from simple prompts, similar to platforms like Lovable or Bolt. But it is specifically built for making apps that utilize Gemini API in them. For example, you could ask it to build something like a Nano Banana Image Generator tool and it can seamlessly integrate the Gemini API in there to get it done, which is awesome. Basically, the Gemini API docs are always in its context, but you can also prompt it to not use Gemini stuff and simply build standalone apps. Currently, it always uses Gemini 2.5 Pro to build projects. So, let's get into the upgrades now, and let me show you what's new here. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-40, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. All in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now. Back to the video. First of all, once you come here, you'll see that a ton of Nano Banana pre-made templates are added, which is great if you build AI-related apps, since you can get things integrated and made really quickly. If we look at the prompt box here, it now has a settings icon. Clicking this will open up a sidebar that allows you to select models. Right now, it's limited to 2.5 Pro, but it seems like this is prepared for adding support for 3.0 Flash when it comes out. So, we'll wait and see about that. Then, you've got the System Instructions template. Here, you can now select the stack or framework that you want to use. Angular is newly added here, which makes sense because Google owns it and uses it for multiple apps. That's why we have this option here. And if you use Angular, this will be super helpful. I don't use it as often, so let's move forward. The Add option was already there, which allows you to add files, images, and product requirements documents or stuff like that if you need them, which is also awesome. Now let's ask it to do something. I'm going to ask it to make me a tic-tac-toe game that integrates Gemini as the second player what you'll see is that it goes ahead. And the first thing that shows up is a new loading interface. Now it gives you this interactive view as it generates a plan and structures the process, which actually looks super cool. If we wait a bit, then you'll see that it goes ahead and starts writing the code. As it writes the code, you can see the files being created in real time. In just a bit, it's done. And here's what it generates. It looks pretty good and works well. It utilizes Gemini properly, and you don't need to configure anything like API keys. It's already integrated 
and just works automatically. Now, the first change you can see here is that the whole interface on the right is redesigned. Previously, the editor used to be in the center and the preview was on the extreme right. But now, it is split into two tabs, Code and Preview. You can toggle between them easily, which is great, because now both sections use the full space, which used to feel cluttered before. In the Code tab, you can still create custom files, modify things, and do multiple other tasks. At the top, you can also see the editor settings, where you can now toggle things like text wrapping, enabling the code minimap, and more, which is pretty cool. If you look just above that, you'll now notice a Save to GitHub option, which was not available before. I think this is one of the best updates. Here, you now get the option to sync your project directly to GitHub and keep updating it as you go. At first, it will ask you to create a GitHub repo, which you can do by entering the name and details, and it will instantly create the repo for you. You can also select between public and private visibility for the repo. After that, you get the option to commit changes with a commit message. It will basically commit everything you've done up to this point. It even provides auto-generated commit messages, and you can just hit tab to add them. Then you just hit commit, and it gets committed and pushed. That's awesome, because now you can clone it anywhere, or even link it to Vercel's auto-deploy, and push it live to a real website very easily. You still have the download app and copy app options, as well as the share option, which lets you quickly share an app with anyone and let them use it as well. Some more smaller updates include drag and drop support for files into subfolders, which is very handy. You also get a suggestions option at the bottom of the chat panel. So now you can improve your project using pre-made suggestions. That's basically the major updates on the surface. I've also noticed that it now feels much faster and performs better. It might be because of different system prompts or optimizations, but overall, it's actually really good. Honestly, this is one of the most underrated features offered by AI Studio or even Google. I prefer this over Gemini Canvas and Firebase Studio because it's easy to use, works seamlessly, allows creating a ton of files, and now even integrates into a GitHub project directly. It's really awesome. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.